This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Brie Kuschel-Nicky with me, and you are a coach for the Smith Falls Sky Volleyball Club. That's right. First off, I have to welcome you to Smith Falls. You just moved here in the last uh, year. It's true. Thank you so much. We're so glad to be here. We really like Smith Falls. We've loved getting to know the folks, and everyone has been really welcoming and and. Smith Falls has so much going on. We really love it. We, we do. We all, you know, I'm a lifer here and uh, it's a wonderful place to live. So welcome to Smith Falls. I really appreciate the fact you're, you're just, you know, rubber hits the road and you're, you're uh, knee deep in with our Smith Falls Sky Volleyball Club as well, trying to get it going again. Totally. So let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited. So I've been, I grew up playing club volleyball in Alberta, which is where I'm from. And um, I've kind of coached uh, wherever I've lived. But, uh, you know, being in school and, and being in Toronto was a little bit harder to make it happen. And then obviously COVID happened. And so when I moved here, one of the things that I knew I wanted to get involved with was youth volleyball. Um, and so there, there was a club previously in Smith's Falls, a really great club. Uh, but unfortunately with COVID and, and kind of how things fell, uh, they weren't able to continue. And so the sky is kind of a continuation of a bit of a volleyball history that Smith's Falls does have. And so I'm really excited to build on that. Okay, now okay. You, we were talking before we started taping too, you want to get it started going for September. In my mind, I was thinking you're, you're going to be using the, the lower reach park. I mean, you still could in September, but have you got an indoor space? Have you got an, uh, an outdoor space? Yes, great question. So we're going to run some development camps uh, in August uh, for, for kids and we're going to be at lower reach. So using the beach courts there, it's such a great facility, but uh, OVA clubs are typically indoor. So we're looking to have a community use partnership with one of the school boards so that we can be practicing indoors. And then OVA tournaments are always indoor tournaments that kind of take place. Um, we're actually in region six, Eastern Ontario. And so the club tournaments will take place kind of around Eastern Ontario. Okay, now are you, are you gonna have an adult one as well too, or is this youth? It's gonna be youth. I would love to start a co-ed league. There is women's volleyball in Smith's Falls. Um, and as the league grows, we might be able to sponsor like a house league or a co-ed league. But for now, we're looking to, for our first year, we're looking to put together two youth teams to compete. All right. All right. And you know, off the top of my head too, when I think of an indoor space and an outdoor space, that's two different ways of learning volleyball too. One year on sand, one year on a solid floor. Totally. Yeah, it absolutely is. And so the camps at Lower Reach will be focused on fundamentals, but we won't necessarily be coaching kids on how to play beach volleyball, which you're totally right, is a different game. It's two on two, the court's a bit smaller, you move differently on sand, but those fundamentals they can bring with them either into club tryouts and hopefully to play with us for the season or back to school to play for school teams or in gym class. You know, volleyball is something that like the women's volleyball here is so great so many folks can just come and play and have that be their week their i just said weekly their weekly outing stay active yeah yeah excellent excellent now i i saw on the facebook page you've been playing volleyball since you're 13 years old how long have you been coaching that's right so i started playing at 13. i didn't have a lot of background experience um a friend of my mom's was coaching a club team and my mom said you play on this club team now because they need kids um, so I played all the way through high school and then I started coaching when I was in my undergrads. So probably I was 19 and I started coaching, uh, with a grade eight boys team. Oh, excellent. So I've been coaching, I guess that's about 13 years. Wow. Okay. Now I, something else I read about you too, and I really like this and it's such a different, it's an important part of coaching too. Uh, and it says it, they wrote about you more important to be, it's more important to be a good person than it is to be a good volleyball player and your teams develop volleyball skills alongside leadership skills, teamwork skills, and confidence. Yes, this is, this is a belief that is core to me as a coach and is core to what I bring as a, kind of the founder of the sky. Um, it's, it's not everyone's, not everyone agrees and I've been turned down from some clubs because uh, some clubs have a win at all costs mentality and that's okay, we need all sorts of different clubs to serve all sorts of different athletes, but you know, I never played for Team Canada. Most of my athletes probably won't play for Team Canada, but what they can develop is sportsmanship skills, an ability to support their teammates, an ability to deal with situations that are high stress or high anxiety, uh, an ability to deal with joy when we win, but also with that grief and that disappointment because we don't always win. Um, some of my proudest moments have been watching players develop life skills, not just the ability to serve or attack or, or play defense. 
And so we talk a lot about what it means to be a good teammate and how we show up for each other. Um, and volleyball is, is the tool that we use to kind of develop the whole person. And I mean, those skills are good when you go home, they're good when you go to school, they're good when you go to work, they're good dealing with friendships, they're de good dealing with almost anything in life, employment. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And especially for, for girls, we know that women drop off in sports after grade six. And so they don't get the same outlet to develop these skills and, and learn about their own resilience and build that confidence that boys sometimes get. And so I think that's really important too, to have that outlet. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I enjoyed sports so much. I, I tried, I really did. <laughs> A lot of trips to the emergency room. <laughs> So that's why I think I, I started uh, working with photography because I still wanted to be involved with sports. So if I can't play it, I'm going to start taking pictures of it. <laughs> I love that. And that's the resilience, right? The resilience going to the ER sometimes. Having to right. deal with, uh oh. That's right. That's right. Can you put my finger back into it? So yes. <laughs> yeah, I was safer with a camera. So, <laughs> so how do you get involved with this? How do you get involved with your, your, your volleyball? Oh. Great question. So right now we're running signups for those development camps, um, which are happening uh, August 11th and 12th and 18th and 19th. And then we'll announce as the date gets closer and we're in the schools, we'll announce kind of a partnership there to be running tryouts. Um, and then uh, folks who are not uh, youth aged are welcome to get involved. Uh, we need coaches. Um, so it is, um, the, the club will cover your coaching stuff. So if you want to get trained as a coach and you want to get involved, we would love to have you. Uh, board members, volunteers, uh, sponsors. Yeah, there are a lot of ways, especially for adults to get involved. And then for youth, we hope to widen our offerings of more camps. And then for, for families who aren't able to commit to September to April, which is a big club season, we do want to run some different camps and some different ways to get involved through the year as well. Excellent. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, our email is smithsfallsky at gmail.com, or we've got a Facebook page and an Instagram account. Uh, both, I believe, are skyvolleyball.sf. Uh, and then we do have a website. It's a, a little lengthy to find, but you can find it through the Facebook page. I think it's smithsfallsky.wixsite.com slash smithsfallsky. Oh. It's in the works to, to simplify the website. Yeah, there you go. Go to the Facebook page <laughs> and click on the link. Yeah. That's exactly it. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Oh, I thank you very much for being here today. I've got Coach Bree, Crucial, Crucial Nikki with me. Did That's that? right. That's Crucial perfect. Nikki. Yeah, you go. <laughs> thank you very much for joining awesome. us. Thank, thank you for you what you're so doing much. for Smith Falls, too. This is wonderful.